What's up YouTube family? This is USMC Butler and welcome to my channel. Today we're back with the Mercia Lago. Uh, I'm getting lots of requests that I haven't been making enough videos so I wanted to go over what I've been doing lately. I don't edit my videos uh, so I get one shot and if I mess up I either restart or just mess up and you guys get to see it. Um, but yeah I want to go over a few things as you can see here. Looks a little different than the last few videos. We've got some quarter panels in. Um, work the, been working the door a little bit here. Uh, I went and picked up the Liberty Walk Bumper yesterday. It's not mounted yet, but there's a reason for that. I kind of want to leave it off to show you guys more stuff that I've done here. Um, I want to give a shout out to Indian Capital Technology Center. They're working some of my panels for me. Uh, the auto collision course, if you guys are watching, thank you for all your work. I also did the sail panel here. Look at the bat wing. Yes, very good. Well, since the last video, like I said, we've got the quarter panels. I've got AC hooked up on the car and running and working. <clears throat> We're currently working on a solution for the bat wings. Um, there's an actuator under there, the Lamborghini actuators, and they pin here and they make these bat wings go up and down. I'm gonna wipe my camera off there. Yeah, there we go. They make these bat wings go up and down. The problem is, is Lamborghini uses a different feedback, uh, a different feedback system um, than what uh, the microcomputer can. And we're gonna, long story short, we're having to make a microcomputer to work the bat wings. Not a big deal, uh, just means that I can't use those actuators. Um, <clears throat> we have, forgive my wiring here, uh, made the bracket to keep the, uh, keep the exhaust off the cooling pipes there. This is just sitting here. I kinda wanted to mock it up because this hose will eventually go through each side. So when this is all down and you look at the back glass, you still get a, a good view here. Put the inner panels on, inner fender panels. Um, I am currently in the middle of, obviously interior looks a little bit different too. Oh yeah, I wanna give a shout out to the upholstery shop. For getting the new the seats all recovered and done charles gas did an awesome job i've got a cover on that one um charles gas awesome upholster i mean these seats are just just quite amazing and they're super comfortable um great price uh i have a fix a shifter we couldn't do the gates um but that'll work good enough for now i'm waiting on Waiting on these pieces. The dash is out of it. We had to fix a broken AC motor and we had to pull this box out through the front of the car, which was not a fun process at all and, and fix a motor. So Dakota Digital sent us our control box. We don't have the, we don't have the gauges yet, but this is a control box that's gonna control the gauges. So, I've been working on wiring fuel send, obviously for a fuel gauge, oil, which they send our senders, so um, we just run that from the engine up. Water, these adjusts are for the gauges when they come in, so you can adjust everything to the digital display that it'll have. Speed sensor off the transaxle, all your power warn warning tag is pretty self-explanatory, and then most of these <laughs> these we won't be using these are going to be outs they're basically cat 5 they'll have two cat 5 cables out that'll plug into the back of the display but yeah if you've never seen behind the uh, dash of a mercia logo this is pretty much your chance here um obviously we won't be using that because this was an e-gear car so anyway 
Moving on, I want to show you more if anybody's interested in seeing what the back of the dash looks like. <clears throat> Here's our yellow wires for airbag stuff. Not to be confused with the yellow trim, which is not airbag wires. <laughs> Really, that's a whole, I say that's about it. That's been a good month's worth of stuff. We have the hood off right now. Uh, this is the air box that we had to take out. This piece right here. Um, and it <laughs> is a real pain to get out. Let's just say that, we'll just stop there. And the motor is inside there and inside the here so you have to break it apart on top of getting it out of there uh yes i have a windshield if i didn't mention that before it's really expensive so i keep it put up i should take these headlights out because they're even more we got the lift system working i don't know if i had that in the last last video um i don't it's not i mean i can start it and show you guys but that's really it uh, i'm sorry about the shop being all dirty dirty shops kind of like dirty hands dirty hands mean clean money dirty shop means clean cars so uh we'll leave it at that um we're the next for the next video i'm taking this door off today it's another reason i wanted to make this video today I'm taking this door off so it can get worked and get all jammed in. We're gonna jam it so I can put it back on. Uh, and I want to have the car mechanically done and in the body shop by the middle of December so uh, they can glue the panels on uh, and hopefully springtime will it'll be completely done. The Liberty Walk kit, the side, the actual, not the bumpers, but the Liberty Walk side pieces and you know, again, if I was really good at editing, I could show you, but um, anyway, the Liberty Walk side pieces go all along here in the front and the back, but they're on their way. I got a tracking number on them. I'm not sure when they will show up due to the pandemic. So here we go. I uh, can't really think of anything else to tell you guys that, <laughs> Than I'm gonna do. Um, the car is going back the original, the original yellow color. Um, eventually, it's gonna get sealed on the outside, and I'm gonna drive it that way next summer for the time being. Uh, probably an OD green because I like OD green, and I think it's cool. Anyway, thanks everybody. Thank ICTC Auto Mechanics class for watching my videos. Charles Gas Upholstery, ICTC Auto Collision Body Repair class for getting to play with some Lamborghini parts. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See ya.